hi guys welcome back to my channel this is marvin if today is the first time of stopping by on my channel you are most definitely welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back again so today i just want to do a demonstration um normally people don't know how to go about um, looking for schools looking for universities and colleges and people end up choosing schools that are not dlis and schools that are DLIs but yet they won't make them eligible to apply for a postgraduate work permit after their um, study here in Canada. So today I just want to demonstrate how you can even start your research on schools that will make you eligible um, to apply for a postgraduate work permit after your study here in Canada. So stick with me and then um let's go through this quickly so first of all um you can see google is on and then i'll just type dli yeah dli canada and yeah so dli canada it gives you like a list of um websites but let's just stick to the first one so we just stick to canada.ca designated learning institutions list we pick that so yeah this brings us to the government of canada website and then on this page you have the designated learning institution list here and that's the first thing you see the second thing is um postgraduates post graduation work permits so you scroll down yeah so the first thing yeah the designated learning institution list so when you get here you just scroll down and you come to list of designated learning institutions by province or territory so this is where we are going to do our work today so view list by province or territory so first because i'm in newfoundland and labrador i'll just start with newfoundland and labrador so yeah it gives me a list of institutions or a list of all the dlis in newfoundland and labrador and it tells us their designated learning institution number um, the city in which they are in in the province the campuses and then whether or not they offer pgwp eligible programs all right so this is the most important part this is where you are, you are supposed to you know focus focus on to know whether the school you are applying to actually offers um postgraduate work permit so we have um canada academy canada and it's this the dli number is in cornerbrook and it doesn't offer pgwp right so if you are applying to um academy canada you need to be aware of this let me just touch on the the popular schools right which are college of north atlantic and then memorial university so you can see college of north atlantic they have different campuses um Bayverde campus bonavista campus boring campus carbonair campus you know and so on so yeah cna which is college of north atlantic offers postgraduate work permits so if you are applying to cna you know you are safe and that after your studies you'll be eligible for postgraduate work permits. So let's now look for Memorial University. All right, so Memorial University of Newfoundland, that's my university, um, it's, it's a DLI university and it has two campuses it has the grenfell campus the corner book it has the grenfell campus in cornerbrook and then 
um, one in St. John's. So, yeah. As you can see, Memorial University offers um, PGWP. Or if you come to Memorial University, it means that after your studies, you are eligible to apply for PGWP, which is your postgraduate work permit. So if you are applying to Memorial University, you know you are safe. So let me just go to New Brunswick, right? I'll just touch on the, the most popular schools in the provinces yeah so that it gives you like a fair idea in case you want to apply to any school in new brunswick so let me type nbcc in new brunswick which is the new brunswick community college so as you can see they have different campuses and in all their campuses it offers um, pgwp to its students yeah so if you're applying to new brunswick community college you know you are going to get your pgwp after your studies let's type um new brunswick university university of new brunswick yeah it has popped up here so yeah, University of New Brunswick also has two campuses and they are both, uh, you know, they both qualify you for a postgraduate work permit. So you are good to go if you want to apply to University of New Brunswick. Let's check um, another province. Let's check Ontario. Now, a lot of people apply to Toronto School of Management, right? But they don't know that Toronto School of Management doesn't offer PGWP. So let's confirm that here. So you see, there you go. Toronto School of Management, even though it's a DLI institution, it doesn't make you eligible to apply for a postgraduate work permit guys so pay attention to this very very clearly toronto school of management doesn't offer pgwp but you can also look at niagara college canada at toronto school of management it's also a dli yet it offers pgwp so know the difference Toronto School of Management doesn't offer PGWP, but the Niagara College Canada at Toronto School of Management offers PGWP. So guys, take a critical look at this before you start applying to your schools. Um, let's, let's check Centennial College. Centennial College, yeah. So Centennial College also has various campuses and then they also offer PGWP, right? Okay, and let's check Ottawa U. So yeah, Ottawa University, as we all know, is, is a public institution and it offers postgraduate work permit. So yeah, so this is how you can go about, you know, before you even start checking for the schools and the colleges or after you get a list of schools and colleges, I mean, universities and colleges you want to apply to, you can, you have to do this check. So you can come to the Canada websites, the Government of Canada websites, and then, you know, uh, make this assessment, right? Check it and make sure that the school you are applying to um, will make you eligible for a postgraduate work permit after your studies. This is very important. This is very important. Um, I normally get a lot of questions from people asking me, Oh, Marvin, is um, 
Deham College uh, at DLI will make me eligible to, you know, apply for a postgraduate work permit. You know, and sometimes I can't answer all of those. So that's why I'm doing this video to show you how to do it so that, I mean, it saves you time and you don't waste your money at the end of the day. Yeah. So thank you very much. And I hope this video was useful or it will be useful to you when you're applying for your schools or when you're applying to schools in Canada. So thank you very much for tuning into my channel again. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do well to subscribe to my channel and let's grow the family. Don't forget to like, comment and share my videos as well. See you same time next week. Have a wonderful day. Bye.